We work on uh, uh, regenerated therapies for the blood sy system, both cell and gene therapies, to try to improve uh, the treatment of patients who have uh, malignant disorders of the blood system or genetic disease. Uh, we try to learn how to understand the regulation of hematopoietic stem cells, both within the body and outside the body, and for this, we use genetic models, uh, both cells from patients, but also engineered mouse models, to try to understand the, understand the genes that uh, regulate stem cell behavior. Uh, if we can accomplish this, we can learn how to increase the number of stem cells and how to activate stem cells before they are transplanted to patients. This research can also benefit the development of gene therapy for genetic disorders of the blood system. The greatest challenges are to uh, understand really what regulates stem cells uh, both in the body but also outside the body. The real challenge is to be able to take blood stem cells outside the body and regulate them in the petri dish to understand how we can most effectively uh, treat patients by bone marrow transplantation. We have been uh, 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 trying always to increase the number of stem cells outside the body, but we recently uh, discovered that uh, the regulation of uh, uh, the metabolism of stem cells can uh, really activate the stem cells and you can get much better regeneration of the blood system even without increasing the number of the stem cells. So the activation of stem cells is really important. I think the short-term goals are the same as the long-term goals. They're basically to understand blood stem cell behavior and to understand how we can improve bone marrow transplantation and regeneration of the blood system in patients that have malignant uh, blood disorders or serious genetic disease, diseases that are very difficult to treat today. Well, it's not only the intellectual excitement of doing science, but it is uh, patients that uh, suffer from serious illness that drive my research. I want to improve treatment for patients who cannot get any therapies today. Another uh, major driving force is to work with young scientists and to stimulate them and to help them to become independent scientists in the future.